What's up guys, Noble Rabbit Gaming, Garrett Crawford coming at you guys with another video. It's Friday night and you guys know what that means. We got magic to open. So, I originally ordered two boxes of uh, Draft uh, Strixhaven, um, but the store I pre-ordered from was, I guess, allocated on those for some reason, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, and I got sent two of these instead. So I'm absolutely okay with these. I kind of was interested in the set booster, um, but didn't really know um, what to think of it. So, <clears throat> pop that open. So, uh, yeah, we are hype for this box opening. Uh, it's going to be super fun. I have been literally waiting to open this for like days, it feels like now. Literally days. cannot tell you how excited I am to finally like open up some Strixhaven because I also had, a, you know, problems with, uh, you know, like they said they had allocations so I had to wait longer to get my boxes. Oh, that's kind of cool. They're standing up in this. Um... Very nice. We're gonna set that back there. We're just gonna pull the packs out. Oh man, there's packs laying around everywhere. Came all like jumbled up in there and stuff. Got some juicy, juicy packs. Let's tuck that away. Nice little box. Nice little display. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Um, we're gonna move these off to the side, and we'll start. Filming downward. A um, couple things before I get into these delicious packs. Um, we're going to have more videos coming uh, soon. I hope you guys are enjoying the Facebook page. Um, we'll have actually a lot more important videos. Important. I don't mean that like they're not important, but they are important videos over... Um, the, st the storefront. Hopefully you guys are going to start seeing some content of me getting the storefront ready for you guys. Um, and maybe uh, an insight onto what will be in the store once we open it up. Um, also, uh, so so I guess that'll be like a little like um, series of just like the growth of the actual brick and mortar. Um, and you guys will get to see that. Maybe a couple videos of us getting the place ready. Um, still have lots of opening videos though. We'll still have tons of stuff to open, um, and I'm actually striving to do more dual videos now that we have um, the equipment to do so. So you guys will actually see um, a sealed um, Strixhaven pre-release kit battle showdown between me and Jacob, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy that. So without any further ado, I've been waiting forever to open these packs, bro. Forever. It has literally been like two weeks, two, three weeks. Oh, this guy getting all funky on me. Okay, okay, these are set up here. Ooh, I liked that. I like that art right there. That Casmina art. If only it was signed. Foil Mountain. Uh, we got a sorcery. I'm actually going to set all the foil stuff right there. A foil, or not, a rare uh, lesson. Uh, confront the past. A um, couple of things here. I'm going to turn down the brightness. On. There we go. Much better. Okay. Witherbloom Apprentice. Bookworm. A rare gnarled professor. And an eliminate. Sorry. Let me organize this just a tad bit, guys. And then a foil... Uh, what is that? Arcway Commons. Okay. Um, I do absolutely love the Eliminate stuff, so what we're going to do is we're going to set the art cards right here. Maybe I should turn them around so you guys can see exactly what I'm pulling here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And then Uncommons will stack off to the side because there's a bunch of those. Okay, next pack. Sorry, I had to get a little bit organized here, guys, so that way you guys can see what I'm working with. See what I'm working with. <laughs> Ooh, we did get a signed card. Look at that. I'm actually going to sleeve that up because I, I, I really like the idea of them, uh, uh, you know, giving a little bit of a shout out to the, um, the artist. And that is just amazing. I love that. So we'll keep that off to the side. All right. And the rest of the pack. 
Um, so my thoughts on Strixhaven. Um, ooh, I think it is a really, really cool set. Um, it has tons of potential. We have a rare culmination of studies. And then a, I think, uh, Shalai, one of the deans? Okay, okay, okay. It's the rare. And then we have an Infuriate. And a Mage Hunter. Um, so yeah, I really like the, uh... I don't know, I guess I like how it's not so, like, overpowered. It's not so, um... It's not, it's just basically not too much. Like, past sets have been. Um, especially with, like, uh... You know, Ixal, or not Ixal. <laughs> wow, that's ways back, Garrett. Uh, especially with, um... Theros, Eldraine, those sets are just, they're super crazy, man. It's hard to keep up with them. Fracture, good card right there. Ooh, dang it. Uh, I'm actually hypey, but happy about this. I want to test this out with a Winota deck. Uh, Abundant Harvest is crazy good, and that is a, that artwork, man. That artwork. Uh, the Abundant Harvest I'm actually going to sleeve up because I want to use that for... Uh, just playtesting purposes. I think it would be good in Jund. I've been seeing people play in Jund on Historic, so I kind of I'm curious about um, put all of our sleeve stuff right up here in the front, and we'll do a recap. Um, I'm curious about all of the uh, just interactions that that is going to bring to um, those colors and that that kind of game. You know what I mean? There's an uncommon, other uncommon. Another uncommon. Un. Yeah, that's four uncommons. <laughs> okay, Hall of Oracles. Agonizing Remorse. Looking good. Looking spicy. And a pooch. Zipooch. That's a lot of. Uh... Oh, I think I think I had a less than uncommon. See, I li I like how Magic over the past couple of years has been doing themes of like having one of a specific type of card that's like generated towards a mechanic inside of the set. So like for instance, uh, War of the Oh, I just grabbed an extra card. War of the Spark had um, what was it called? Uh, gosh, I'm grabbing two cards at a time, guys. I'm sorry. Um, had like a Planeswalker in every pack. Um, this one has a less... Ooh, yes! Sadr Shadrick's Silver Quill. Ooh, I love that Dark Ritual. That looks super nice. And then a Foil Divine Gambit. Okay, okay, we're pulling things. I love this Dark Ritual. That looks super, super nice. Like, my gosh. Looks so pretty. And then I was actually really hoping to pull this guy out of the set. Um, I would love, 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 love to add him to the actual, um, what's it called, uh, the uh, commander for Silver Quill. I think he would be a nice little fit in there. That or, uh, I know the wife was wanting to make a Kalia of the Vast uh, deck, so we could go that route with it too. It's it's great in a lot of, a, a lot of commanders. Oh, I just turned the camera off on you guys. I apologize. Ooh, these artwork cards, man. Look at the look at that. Oh. Look at that artwork. If I can get the can get it right on the camera. It looks so good. It looks so good. This game. This game. Let me tell you about this game that I love. It's called Magic. Sorry guys, I'm getting a little discombobulated with all the stuff everywhere. Okay, we have an uncommon, another uncommon, another uncommon. Uh, his Kal Kalos, Kalos, the Blood Mage, and then we have a Pre Prague. God, these guys' names are like a trip. Okay, let me just flick the cards everywhere. Yeah, there's the rest of the pack, guys. <laughs> okay. Oh man. So yeah. Um. This set is not too overpowered, which is super healthy for the game in terms of competitive play. Uh, I cannot tell you how frustrating it is right now losing to nothing but cards from Eldraine. That is, oh, <laughs> Silver Quill. That's super funny. That's super funny. There's a lesson. 
We got some things. Uh, but yeah, man, like, I feels like I'm either getting killed by, like, Embercleave or, like, Eorian or just a bunch. Okay, we got Archmage. Sword of the Plowshares. And a Lesson Foil. Um... Yeah, man, like, those two sets were, like, really good, maybe, at the time, and they weren't too overpowered at the time, it seemed. But now that they just had, like, maturity, and, you know, everybody realizes what, uh, you need to build around those types of cards, like, they just made it super easy to use those cards. Like, Embercleave is just, it's, it's super, super dumb how good that card is. Okay, Hallway Monita. What is that? Oh, it's an Elite. Ooh, we got the Golgari Dean. A shock, looking fashionable. And a foil... Oh, oh okay, this is uh, this is from the, um, the list. Uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I pulled that. That's, uh, that's funny. Um, yeah, don't know how I feel about that pack. Uh, the Dean was cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, Standard, in my opinion right now, is in a rough place. Modern looks real spicy. I definitely want to get me at some Modern. I'm loving Historic Online for Arena. Uh, tell me down in the comments what you guys are liking. What kind of uh, gameplay um, is... Ooh, this guy's great in Winota. I'm actually glad I pulled that. Ugh, another Divine Gambit. And then a foil. That doesn't mean anything. Um, where was I? Uh, uh Historic. Uh, you know, uh, good good format. Oh, I would like and comment down below, guys. What what format are you guys enjoying right now? You know, is it is it Commander? Is it Standard? Are you liking modern? Are you liking historic? Are you liking popper? I know that one was random. Okay, lesson. Ooh, God, I keep grabbing two cards, guys. I'm so sorry. Just losing all of it. Okay, we got the mastery. Oh my gosh, we're pulling deans, baby. And the gate looks spice. And a foil. I, I'm, I know it sounds like I'm not being excited about the foils at all, but I'm actually I'm actually stoked because uh, I'm actually pulling like good pieces for commanders, and that's really what I wanted most from this set was uh, commander pieces. There's a lot of just really cool interactions with some of the deans, um, especially them being modal cards, and makes it super nice. Ooh, that brainstorm! Gosh. Okay. Um. Yeah, them being modal cards definitely just adds, like, an extra, like, flair to your, uh, whatever you're playing. Ooh, what do we got here? Uh, Fevery Master, Fervent Mastery. A Claim the Firstborn, because, you know, that's everywhere. And then another card, and no. Nah. Um, I feel like we're not really pulling a whole lot of crazy stuff. I think I've pulled one, one Mythic. So far, I mean, I'm not even halfway through the booster box, too, though. You never know. I could just get get all wild and crazy and pull something. All right, let's get into this. I mean, do you guys really need to see the comments? I'm sure Bad Boy Gaming has opened up enough of this product to, for you guys to see all that. But I haven't, so you guys are going to have to sit and torture. <laughs> um, Exponential growth. A whirlwind denial. Mmm. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing crazy here. Um, as far as like the Strixhaven Mystical Archives, uh, the big expensive ones, I would love Demonic Tutor or Tainted Pact, um, or Teferi's Protection. Um, as far as uh, ones that I would, ooh, that's a nice lesson. Um, as far as ones that I would love to use in competitive play, I would probably want to do um, Inquisition of Kozilek. I love the artwork for that. It is super, super nice. Oh, big hit, baby. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. You have found the way. 
and a Primal Command. Very, very beautiful pack. Oh my gosh, and a Venerable Warsinger? And, bro, this pack was, go look at that. A list card, I mean, I know it's just a common, but a list card, a foil rare, a myth, or a mythic archive, and a mythic from the pack. Like, these things are good value, dude. Like, you can pull crazy stuff like that out of there. That's, that was nuts. We got a lot to sleep up all of a sudden. Kazmina, good pull. Happy about that. I have, like, a binder, or my binder right now has, like, a whole, like, Planeswalkers page to it. And, uh... She's definitely got a slot on the page for sure. She deserves it. She is uh, spicy. And I'm actually really hyped about the Venerable Warsinger card. Um, I really want to try it out in Winota. Oh, I don't need to sleep this common. It's just a common. It's just a common. No need to worry. I'm going to move this stack of commons out of the way. So we can get into more and more juicy packs. Ah, that was a great pack. I'm happy with that. Um, I would have loved for it to have been... Uh, Old Professor Onyx. Sorry to throw that right there. We have another rare lesson. I've actually pulled like three of those now, I think. Stuff's flying everywhere, guys. I'm not good with my hands, as you can tell. Okay, we got one uncommon. Two uncommon. Strixhaven Stadium. A Ephemerate. Actually, I did want this. So Ephemerate's a good pull. And then Warlock Thingy. Of course, they're going to tell me to calm down after we just hit, you know, a crazy beautiful pack out of here. I wouldn't say that was like a case hit or anything. Primal Command isn't that much uh, for the Strixhaven um, or the uh, Mystical Archive. I don't think so, anyway. Okay, there's... This pack, is, like, I never know what I'm going to hit or run into. There's just uncommons everywhere. So here comes a bunch of uncommons. Okay, more uncommons. And the rare is a double major, followed by a lightning bolt. I'm hype about that. Mm hmm. And then. Ooh. Ethereum horn sorcery. I, yeah, that's just cool. I, that, that's just cool. I don't know what else to say about that. This uh, lightning bolt, though. This lightning bolt, though. Looking sick. Looking good. Look at the artwork on that bad boy. Yeah, looking saucy. Mm-hmm. All right, on to more packs. I know I'm taking forever on this video, guys. You guys are probably like, geez, man, just get on with the video. I'm sorry, I like talking to you guys, man. Maybe you guys should talk back. Maybe. Maybe if you guys started talking back a little more, I'd be, uh... I'd shut up and just open the product. Whoop! Whoop! Uh, what is that? Manifestation Sage? It's pretty neat. Selfless Glyph Weaver. A Duress. And a Foil, whatever, whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Not doing terrible, I would say. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm actually enjoying opening this. Uh, I haven't, like, been worried to open, or, not worried, what's the word I'm looking for? I haven't felt, like, excited to just open a set in a long time. Um, probably since, like, Guilds of Ravnica, I would say. So this is uh, kind of big for me in a way. Because I'm not used to... Ooh, that's a nice land. Gift of Estates. And then a foil whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, like... Guilds of Ravnica was like the last set for me like that. That was just like, oh man, I want to buy, I want to buy, I want to buy. Um, I did really like Throne of Eldraine. Even though I'm regretting it now. <laughs> um, I do really like that. But, uh... It's been a while since I've been like actually excited. Gosh dang. They do have like a powdery consistency to them. Um, it's been a long time since I've been excited. Ooh, that's the second one I've pulled of this. Oof. Jadzi. Jadzi. Ooh, come on, bro. Killing me. That's a terrible one to pull, dude. That's like literally the only one I didn't want to pull was this one. Ugh. But we did pull Jadzi. 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 Yes. 
Dude, the artwork is so crazy for these cards, man. Like, they, Magic the Gathering is just superb at, like, bringing out the artwork on things, man. Like, this card is so amazing. Hold on, let me turn the light on. Yeah, you can't really see it that well. My light's too blinding. We'll turn it off. We'll just get on with this and quit messing with things. Because I know you guys just want to see what I hit out of this. And maybe we can... I don't know, maybe I can hit some... Hit some indefinite good stuff. Maybe. That or... I could just let you guys down. <laughs> I hope I don't let you down. Oh, getting through these comments. So I could see the rares. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, we got a Blex, baby. Mmm, that's a good hit. I'll take Blexy. Village Rights. And then a foil, whatever. Nice, we got a Blexy, baby. Blexy up in the hood. He's showing up. He's showing up and showing out. Lots of Mythics so far from this. Lots of Deans. I'm, ex I'm excited about the modal cards, really. I like the modal cards in this. Um, there's so much versatility with that. I haven't pulled another signature card since like that first pack, I think. First or second pack or whatever it was. Okay, we got Elephant. More lower hold. A Bayful Mastery. Defiant Strike. Ooh, baby. <laughs> that is sick. Oh man, he looks so good. Mavinda, student's advocate. The centering on this guy is literally superb. Little bits of whitening. God, that is, that's a beautiful card. Hold on, I'm gonna sleeve this up man, so that way you guys can see this. This is this is this is Wizards of the Coast at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. Here, let's take the sleeve off. Let's take the sleeve off so you guys can see like the, the actual foil on that. Look at that. Gosh, man. Shing. I don't know if you guys get into the artworks as much as I do like that, but uh, I, I, I love the artworks on card. Like that is, as a collector standpoint, that is like the main reason why I get most of the things I get is because of just like, man, that artwork looks super dope. I want it. And the fact that I just pulled that as a foil, too, like, completely okay with that. Take more of that any day. Alright, now if only we can pull, like, let's pull a Mystical Archive foil besides Divine Gambit. Let's see if we can't pull a second one of that. Another one of those. Weather the Storm and an Uncommon. Oh, uh, getting down to the last packs here, my friends. Um, we're trying to... Trying to get through them in a timely manner, so that way you guys aren't stuck here listening to me blab all day. That's the second one I pulled of that. Mm-hmm. Let's just span through it. Okay. Ooh, I like that card. Whoop. Whoop. Strategic planning. And a foil thing. The foils look good on this set. I'm going to grab from this side of the stack. Okay, there's a card. Pass through those. Okay. 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 That's a second Divine Strike, man. What's going on here? Where's the good Strixhaven? Mystical Archive cards that I was promised. So far, we've only pulled Lightning Bolt and Primal Command. I need one more. Low. Give me Sliver Quill Command, Thrill of Possibility, and a Grape Shot Foil Mystical Archive. I asked, and okay, and a Thought Vessel. Interesting. Let's check out the centering on this guy. This looks pretty centered. It's just not one of the big hits, is all. It's a decent hit, but it's just not. It's not one of the big ones. That is a very pretty grape shot though. I, I will definitely get behind that. Okay. Maybe we can get lucky and pull one more. That would be super awesome. I'm trying to get this. Hacks. Jeez. Okay. 
All right, fan through them, and here we are. Whoop. Bam, playset. Let's go. Ooh, another Dean. <gasps> this is a good looking car. Oh, 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 oh,
Quandrix, a foil, oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys, I'm butchering the camera here. Okay, we got Quandrix, Dragon, Foil Mind's Desire, Crux of Fate, Grape Shot, uh, Mavinda, Blex, Jadzi, Mizzix Mastery, Lightning Bolt, uh, this isn't like a crazy hit, but it's something cool that I wanted. A Primal Command. Kazmina. A Foil Divine Gambit. Shadrix. I don't know why I sleeve the Dark Ritual. But, uh... Uh, maybe I just thought it was cool. I don't know. Who cares? And then, uh, we only pulled one of these. Actually, I need to go back through. I'm gonna look and see if I may have skipped over any signature cards. I want to say I only got the one though. I would love to see another one of those. That would be super awesome. No, I think that was the only one. My gosh, guys, this was a very eventful video. Like, the polls, man. The pools. I've wasted so much time talking to you guys, though. Not like wasted your time talking to you. I care about you guys. But I've wasted too much time of yours talking to you. I'm sorry. But we just pulled so many, so many, so many gorgeous things. Oh, gosh. I had a blast shooting this video with you guys. Make sure you like and comment, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think of the channel. Go check out the Facebook. Link should be down in the description. Later, guys.